Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to our channel, my name is Derek. And my name is Ryan. And today we have something a little different than our normal content for you, and that is a tasting of food from Japan. Japan snacks. It's a little different for the content we film. It is not different for our lives. We love snacks. No, we, <laughs> I, the fact that I brought all these snacks back should prove that. Yeah. Um, I did go to Japan knowing that they are known for their Kit Kats. Mm -hmm. So many different flavors. So I collected as many as I could and I, once I showed them all to you, there was one I left behind because it was the same as this, but without chocolate and I wanted chocolate. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I got every single flavor I could find. Yeah, so there are seven different flavors of Kit Kat that we will be tasting and ranking for you in just a little bit, but we have a couple of things to show you. Some non-Kit Kats first. So these are um, little cookie sticks from what they look like to me. Um, filled with a matcha cream and have a chocolate coating on either side, like a chocolate dip. Um, I was trying to find another set of these because um, I have a friend with, with this in their name and I wanted to give it to them, but now I'm just gonna be like, here's a couple. Hmm. So here's one for you. Um, so for reference, I am a notorious sweets fiend but an even more notorious picky eater so yeah so just because it is sweet doesn't mean that he's going to like it but i love sweet things, and but. it always surprises me when he does like something matcha matcha doesn't bother me i mean i don't love my i don't choose matcha but i can i can tolerate it so this is what i am calling the unopenable Sorry, the packaging just says Meiji Horn, um, which is the name, the brand. Um, there we go. Oh, it's cute. This is, yep, like a wafer filled almost. It is a... That's like a taco. It's like a little taco. And on the ends there are chocolate, but on the inside is matcha cream. Yeah. So... It's a mini taco. A little mini taco filled with matcha. All right. All right. Cheers. I like them. Are they too earthy for you? No. It doesn't no. taste earthy to me. To me, to be honest with you, I don't feel like matcha has a lot of flavor that I taste. Um, but... You might not have the... some Everyone's taste buds... Were, um, Receptors are different. That's probably why so I'm a picky it's, eater. I like them. We're not ranking these, but these are, I would put these in a good category. I would buy them again. Mm -hmm. I would definitely buy them again. I don't um, think they're earth. I feel like there's something in America you could find that tastes similar to this. Oh, yeah. There's probably matcha was a lot more common there, but. It's, matcha was everywhere. This doesn't feel like something. But it has the matcha powder flavor, like anymore. the matcha powder, matcha powder flavor you would expect. This next item is a bar of chocolate from a castle. Um, I went to castles, a couple of them. Not the Disney they, one, though. Not the Disney one. Or the Disney C one, which is gorgeous. So. Did not see that with my own eyes, I swear. Um, I have this golden chocolate bar from a castle. If you happen to watch our Nintendo video, um, I talk about this castle quite a bit in it, where they use the Triforce, um, or their, the Triforce was this castle symbol. So I bought a bar of chocolate there because we've always seen gold and ruby chocolate on TV and I can never find it. Mm -hmm. So I found it and we're going to taste it. It says it's bitter. For a second it I thought is, it said butter and I was like, no, did you buy butter? But there are, I can't tell if they, because it's yellow, I can't tell if they are grapefruits, if they are pomelos, if they're lemons, or if they're oranges, but just yellow. Um, I also heard that there are, there might be yellow oranges. I don't know. So it could have a citrus flavor to it. Um, I, I am willing to try this. I can almost promise you I am not going to like this. I, they put cardboard in with it. That is why it's... I was wondering why it was still together through all that travel. 
I never thought my life could be anything but catastrophe. That's not golden. That looks like chocolate. You were tricked. I was tricked. Tell me that that does not say. Show show Look Shonan. at the at the bottom. That's gold it. chocolate. Maybe sh oh because the name of the brand is shown on gold. Shonan Gold, Shonan, Shonan. I, I do, I would say Shonan. Shonan Gold Chocolate, Shonan Gold. <laughs> Y'all, that. I really. Is it just bitter chocolate? Is it like? Well, chocolate? which means it's dark chocolate, which I do love. But this was a true Willy Wonka moment where I thought I had a golden ticket in here. It and... says citrus fruits, though. I think there's some. I think this is. So something. I think it's still gonna be delicious, but the irony of opening it and being a regular bar of chocolate i'm still on the hunt for gold and ruby chocolate if you know where to buy it please let us know down below all right take as big or small of a bite as you want to bottoms up orange i love this <laughs> this is really good there's really good chocolate it's not bitter at all. Mm -mm. Um, it's not just, it's like a citrusy. It's really just, there's no distinguishable, distinguishable citrus. Yeah, it's very high quality chocolate. Uh, yeah. That's really good. I would eat it again. It came from a castle, so it had, it had to be good. That's castle chocolate, y'all. So the next thing that we are doing is these little, all it says is haichu. And that they're premium. Hmm. Um, they are grape flavored, which this is a grape here, and this is a, a peeled grape. Not sure. Um, maybe it just is pretty and looks like a flower, or maybe some people peel their grapes. If you peel your grapes, please let us know. It feels like a lot of work. Because that feels like a lot of work for a little bit of a little bit of joy. I have had these because this pouch was bought for me by a friend. Um, she purchased them thinking it was gum, because if you look at it, it looks like it's going to be gum. And what we discovered was that they are mochi filled chew, or sorry, they are, they are mochi filled with chewy. And it seems like gum, but the flavor is straight up grape bubblicious. This is more of a, let's see what Ryan thinks of it. I love them. I love mochi, so I have a good feeling. And the funny thing is, if you take a look, it does have the like the powdery stuff that you would put on mochi so it doesn't stick to you. Are right, you ready? Uh-huh. And it's gonna chew like gum for a little bit. Like it still feels like gum to me. With a slight bit of gummy. But it feels like the gummy is tricking you into, chew, like, gum. That's gum. 10 out of 10. That was so good. <laughs> I love that. The texture of that was so good. Guess what I wow. found out? They're available on Amazon. Yeah, I want those. Those are really good. Those are delicious. And the grape flavor is so... That's perfect grape flavor. I love grape flavored things, but that was, like, exquisite grape flavor. It was so... It's just so good. Mm. And that might be my favorite thing of the video. Let's just stop it here. But we have so many chocolates to look at now. I'm going to be honest. I'm a chocolate guy. Chocolate is my favorite thing. So I'm very excited to taste these Kit Kats. This is actually Kit Kat from Japan. That was one of the reasons I really wanted to get to Japan when we were planning our trip. before. And I actually didn't. I remember us researching it, but I didn't know it was quite as... Like it was something you really wanted to do. I mean, let me clarify. I wasn't flying to Japan to right, taste Kit Kats, right. but <laughs> it was something that was very exciting to me. Um, so today we have seven different flavors to share, um, to taste, and to show off to you guys. Uh, which one? I am going to start with some of the, um, I guess you would say more expected flavors. Okay, so I was on a hunt personally for the green tea Kit Kats. I had heard so many good things about them. So along my hunt, I finally found a bunch more. Um, so some of the more, no what you would expect to be more normal flavors. Um, we have just a simple orange Kit Kat. 
Orange and chocolate. Um, I love the chocolate oranges, so I have a feeling that this is going to be a winner for me. Um, strawberry. Can't wait. This is, um, I'm going to just guess that anything that is not, um, like a brown chocolate is going to be a white chocolate that is colored, um, with strawberry flavoring, but it also, you can see that there is like strawberry in between them. And each of them is kind of detailed and tells you what is in between them. Like some of them have chocolate, mm -hmm. some of them have like a cream, and some of them have strawberry. The next one, I found it. I found matcha Kit Kats. They are there. I can't wait to try these. Moving on to slightly different. This one isn't, it's not normal, but it isn't that different. And it came in a, di it came in a box and that is strawberry cheesecake. Um, I was told that this was, I think the sign said it was exclusive to the region that I purchased it in. It's definitely Japan. On oh yes. Um, the one side has Tokyo, but the other side has where the golden palace that I visited that day. And I think that that is the, oh, and that's the Mount, the, I think that's the region yep. and it's just got the other stuff on the other side, but it was exclusive to where we climbed up the mountain. And so there's that one. This one is, I believe just crackers. I'm so excited about that one. This one has a picture of crackers. Um, this is the one that I was saying I didn't purchase the other version of. The other version didn't have the chocolate at the bottom. So this one is chocolate or crackers with chocolate. And the funny thing is the other label had all yellow here. And of course did not have the chocolate thing there, but it, it was all that like kind of yellowish chocolate. So I, I opted for the 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 with the chocolate this one is very special to us and i think that you all will know why <laughs> let's have a tea party this is milk tea what flavor we will have i don't really know i it's have milky. not had I, I would equate this with like British tea with milk in it, like a milk tea. I've had milk tea candy before. Okay. Um, I don't remember what it tasted like or if it had a memorable flavor, but it's probably the same as the matcha tasting like nothing to me. I am, I feel like it's going to be a light flavor. That's what I think. I think it's going to taste like vanilla-ish. And I don't know. Yeah. Probably vanilla. Yeah. Maybe I a little like matcha, be, honestly. Maybe a little bit. Beige, I don't know. There is one final flavor that I purchased by accident. I was on the hunt for green tea Kit Kats and the kids all knew it. So this girl came running towards me and was like, come back, come back to the shop. I found them and I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, just come on, come on, come on, come on. So I ran in and there was a section where they had these Kit Kats that I showed you earlier, the cheesecake strawberry cheesecake ones and they also had these gorgeous green boxes filled with Kit Kats and so I bought myself three of them one for a friend one for myself to eat there and one for myself to eat when I got home and to let Ryan taste we moved on and I got on our bullet train and we opened them up and we were like here everyone matcha green tea Kit Kats for oh. everyone and a couple students got them, another person, like we would just hand them out and we started eating them and everyone was just like, they're good. And everyone was just like, they're good. And we were like, what is wrong? Like we, these were supposed to be amazing. And then our um, tour guide came on and I said to her, I was like, hey, um, have you, look at what I, or first, cause I told her I was on the hunt. I was like, look what I found. I found them and she goes, where did you find wasabi Kit Kats? And I took another look and I was like, that sure is a, a wasabi root. And if I had looked on the back, there it is. There's some wasabi root for you. <laughs> I tasted another one after that. Sorry, my, I'm already like watering up thinking about it. Oh God. 
I also was able to find, though, these super cute version of the matcha that look like the other box because I just love this display box. Yeah. And now I've got all these green tea so for me. All right, so we are going to try each of these and rank them. We will try them in a different order as we go. I think we're going to keep two separate rankings because I'm going to be honest, I don't think ours. Are gonna yeah, match. they're not going to match. Before we start, let us make predictions. Which one do you think is going to be your number one and which do you think will be your last? I know my last is probably going to be the, um, I'm going to, the name of that? The wasabi the one. wasabi one. I want to believe that wasabi is going to be at the bottom of mine, but top, I am torn because I went for the matcha and I feel like that's going to be my favorite. Yeah. I think that. I have a feeling I am either that cracker. If it's good, it's going to That's, get me. That, it's gonna, it's gonna like. I'm hit. gonna love it, but it's gonna be that or strawberry. I think that are gonna be strawberry. So we're gonna start today with the orange Kit Kat orange. I have good strong feelings. About I have. This. I think that I have good really feelings about this. Um, I want to point out before we get started, their bags are super loud because they make them all out of recyclable paper. Hey, awesome. United States. It, it's that easy. Yeah. So let's open these up. We are going to, they're just such nice bags that yes, I am using scissors to open them. Um, so. Orange, you glad I did that for you? Yes. So it is the cutest little orange with uh, chocolate drizzle. I love the chocolate drizzle oh. across. It says chocolate orange. This one has a translation, which they don't all, and I don't know why that's interesting to me, but it is. Um, it says here, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Super cute. Um, and then health facts that are in Japanese, and I can't read them to you. That's okay. We don't need to know how many calories we're about to consume. Yeah. That's the last thing Who I want cares? to about right now. Um, all right. You got the extra. Oh, got a little bit of extra on there. That's cool. Um, all right, here we Cheers go. Cheers to orange. That's a real good flavor. Like, that is top tier flavor. Chocolate and orange complement each other really well. That's going to be, these are going to be tough to, to, to rank. That one's going to be a contender. I could have been a contender. So that one's just in the list right now. Mm -hmm. It's just there. It's just there. I want to go to one I don't think you're going to like, and that is the strawberry cheesecake. I actually am suspicious. I think I am going to like this. And let me tell you what, I don't like cheesecake. I have a And that's suspicion. the only reason I think he wouldn't. I don't think it's going to taste all. A lot of cheesecake flavored things are fine to me because it's the texture of cheesecake I don't like. So I think Got it's going to be okay. But we'll see. Oh, okay. So there are cherry blossoms all over this. Show that cuteness off. It's super cute. Um, got those cherry blossoms. We've also got the volcano or the mountain here. Um, that is Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji. Which is a volcano. I was right. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Um, super cute. Oh, these are really cute. They're um, white chocolate. Which makes sense. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that they would be white chocolate with strawberry cream on the inside. All right, so that's a really cute little Kit Kat. This white chocolate. And last time, did you show the middle of the other one? Because I just did it in one bite last time. I didn't. It looked similar to this, though. It was yeah, the last one was just all chocolate, though. Yeah. It was straight up. All right, so. Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. Nothing special on, on the inside. Mm -mm. It's good. It is good. I like the orange better, but it's because oh, of there's the, the cheesecake, chocolate. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't dislike this. Like I would eat this again. Yeah, I would eat. I I like those. I would purchase them again as well. Yeah. So right now for me, we've got the orange. The cats. orange. And Orange is above strawberry. is above strawberry cheesecake. Okay. Definitely, definitely. Got the same list. I need I need a sip though. Sam Eagles here to help me, y'all. Next, we are going to try 
the regular strawberry. Um, we contemplated for a moment and decided that we do want to try and see if we can tell the difference between the yeah. two. Um, plus these look like they are pink, um, pink Kit Kats themselves. The last ones were white. So, very neat packaging. Does not have any strawberries on it, but it does say good job. <laughs> and it leaves you a little space there to write a name. Good job, Ryan. Oh, I'm we do have that. a light, is... a nice light pink Kit Kat. Look at that. Give me a break. It's the cutest little thing. There you cat. go. All right. And hey, look at straw. Here. The inside. Oh, yeah. Maybe the inside of all Kit Kats looks the same. It is that cookie. I was just waiting to see if some of them had, like, different colors on the inside, like fillings. This is definitely different. Mm-hmm. I really love this. I'm going to start by saying that. I'm trying to decide. You know, I like it, but I like the subtleness of the strawberry in the others better because it has the other flavor to even it. So for me, this is going to go below strawberry cheesecake. Wow, our lists are very different right now because I was trying to decide if I liked it better than the orange chocolate because I oh. liked it better than the strawberry cheesecake. Um, it was definitely, I was a lot less subtle, I agree. It was very much more like strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Which I loved about it. I think I'm going to put it above the orange. Okay. So I think my top right now wow. is covered. Okay. Did not expect... Actually, no, I did kind of expect that. Let's take a drink first before we drink it and eat another. Next, because we want to just kind of get it done and over with, but put it in the middle as well. Yeah, I do think this one is at an unfair advantage. <laughs> that is the wasabi. I mean, so, an unfair disadvantage. An unfair disadvantage. The packaging on these are adorable. These are like little gift box versions. Oh, that is cute. So you open it up and you've got just a little flap there and inside show that. I love, I love that I actually ate this and I didn't notice that there was a green root on it. Yeah. What did I think that was? I don't know. It's hilarious clearly it is not a cup of tea is it actually spicy it, not really but at the end you kind of get a little bit so it is a very light green which is why i was a little confused when we got them because i expected the green tea ones to be darker green so here's two wasabi So, these are one of those things that you get and you say, hey, friend, welcome to my house. You want to try something gross that I got from Japan because it's really crazy. And then you let them try it and you watch them make their face. I don't, I don't find it horrible. No? I mean, I this is definitely going to go at the lowest for me right now, probably for the whole thing. But I expected much worse. And actually, this, like, if I was to choose right now, if I were to choose one of these I want someone to bring, it would be this one because it's fun and not something you'll find anywhere here. I do get that. I just throw it down there. <laughs> but it's still okay. It's okay. It is fine. Like, I would eat another. It is, it's, it's different. I expected to want to vomit. All right, time to cleanse our palate. We are moving on to very Japanese flavors. Profiles that we have not really tasted. Well, except for matcha. We know what that one tastes like. But these are very specific to Japan. Um, so we are going to do the crackers and chocolate first. Yay. So just as a reminder, we got crackers <laughs> and we've got chocolate. I have high hopes for this. Me too. Salty I mean, and really, sweet is the best combination. That, that is. Um, and the packaging is wonderful. It is really cute. 
Um, if you check out here, uh, there's some kanji there. I don't read kanji. Uh, but it's interesting because the texture actually seems like, like a cracker. So, as you can see, you've got the kind of lighter part and the chocolate on the bottom. And this is Cracker Kit Kat with chocolate. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, I'm left too behind. It's super crunchy. There's definitely like cracker in the cookie part of it. I would like for you to go first. I love these. I would be so excited to get these regularly and have these on my list. I think they're going to fall in the middle because there's not an especially the texture is what is different about these. They're crunchier. You can, there's definitely like a little bit of a saltier feel to them, mm -hmm. but it tastes like a regular Kit Kat with a little more crunch to it. That's what it tastes like to me and a little, a little bit of salt. Um, so the flavor itself is going to put it in the middle, but it is definitely delicious. I am probably going to surprise you by saying I'm moving it to the top. And that's fair. I actually, I, like I do really like the texture of it. The, the texture is definitely there. I taste it a little bit more cracker, mm -hmm. but I loved the saltiness of it. I loved the lighter flavor because you get the lighter chocolate on mm -hmm. the top. And so you're not over completely overpowered by like milk chocolate. I loved it. All right. So the next one we are trying today, this is actually the matcha green tea. This is the matcha green tea. This was what I went for. I still have not tasted one. Oh, really? I never had one. Well, then I've been no. I've been holding off. I've been doing such a good job. I really enjoyed the simplicity of this packaging. I wonder oh, if that just says matcha. I hope so. It probably says green tea. This one is very very green. Very green. All right. So, you have a very, very stark contrast from the wasabi. This is a very strong green. My assumption is that they took white chocolate and mixed matcha powder into the white chocolate. I want to talk about how gross the remnants look when they leave that on your finger. It looks disgusting. Um, unless you eat it correctly. My fingers are boogery. Ew. Where do you rank that? It's hard for me right now. Um, what I want to do is, um, as Cinderella would say in Into the Woods, my decision is not to decide at this moment. Um, I'm going to Put it with cracker. At the top? It's at the top, tied with cracker right now. Okay. Yeah. I know that's breaking a norm that you, and you hate when I have multiple favorites, mm -hmm. but I, right, and I will make a decision by the end. I'm going to tell you, I didn't expect this. I'm putting it at the bottom. Ew. And here's Past why. wasabi. Yeah. Um, here's why. I, I didn't hate it. I think it was the most bland one that we've had out of all of these. Wasabi at least had like a little bit of like a something extra, but still tasted. I actually, the green tea, I just, I don't think I taste green tea. I don't, I don't think there I There may be, the because flavor. it is, at least in my mouth, a little earthy. I can kind has, of, maybe that's, what, uh, maybe. And it has a, a very distinct, and if you don't know what, what the flavor is, you wouldn't be able to pull it out possibly. Um, but I thought it was just the right amount. It was kind of, it was subtle, mm -hmm. but not like, not so subtle that you couldn't taste it. I mean, I would eat it again. If you were offering me one of these, I would obviously take one. If you were offering me one of any of these, it would be my last choice. Bubbles taste weird in a straw. He sounds like he's got alcohol in that cup. Oh my gosh, it's a LaCroix! And now for the one we have saved for last, and not because it was the most anticipated flavor, but because 
why would we not end with a tea party? Yeah, we gotta spill the tea. We gotta now. spill this tea. So there are, um, and I looked in the bag earlier when I cut it open and I forgot already how cute these are because every one is a different color, like you're at your own tea party. So there's like a light blue tartan. That's super There's cute. a green, like the bag. That's there's cute. actually a dark blue tartan. Oh, oh like, yeah, those are Kind of like blue and teal. Almost every single one of these. Oh, and then there's orange and yellow. Green and dark blue are the only ones that, that repeat. Okay. Step so, it up. Yeah, let's let's do the green. Let's do the green because we got multiples of those. It matches that bag. Um, all right, so this one is milk tea. I am curious. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel with this. I don't really know what to expect. I have like. no idea what to expect. All right, so it is like a white chocolate. Uh-huh. I don't generally prefer a white chocolate, but normal white chocolate on the outside and the cracker on the inside is a little darker it's kind of like a floral taste at the end like I also got that. I, I that's why that. I just went, <laughs> I went I went oh um so there is definitely a floral flavor to this milk tea I think that's the tea I think that there it's a I it tastes like tea to me it's not my favorite but it's something in the middle I have to think about where exactly I would put mine above wasabi mm -hmm. i like right above wasabi because these i all i would eat them all again mm -hmm. but just that is the order in which i would probably go for them in i think that i would keep strawberry where it is orange underneath it cracker staying where it is and underneath cracker i would put milk tea above strawberry cheesecake so what's below strawberry cheesecake Wasabi and matcha. Gotcha. So matcha is the bottom for me. Um, and this one actually landed right in the middle. Milk tea's dead center for me. Yeah. Before we can move on, I need to fix my um, tie here. And after that last one, I did decide that the, since I said it's the order I would go for them in, I'm putting cracker as number one. I agree with that. Cracker is moving to number good. one. I enjoy the matcha flavor and I did hunt them down mm -hmm. and I still really enjoy them, but I'm going for those cracker ones first. Yeah. I surprisingly really love them. I'm sorry if we yucked your yum, but tell us. Yeah, but also you're wrong. But also everyone has an opinion. But not all of them are right. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you happen to be curious about our other content, make sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Or off with your head. Yes, and also if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up, especially if you came here from the Kit Kat world. If you were just if you're a Kit Kat fan and you found us from the Kit Kat community, what these tastes are like, check out our other content as well. Do you we, think there's a Kit Kat community? Are you I think there is. There's got to be people who look up the flavors of Kit Kats, like, and that they probably land on something on YouTube, and they want to know how they taste. We are so excited to be a part of your so Kit Kat So if we are part of your now. Kit Kat community, thank you for, thank you for, having for us. the warmth. Um, but also, we do a lot of Disney um, content here as well. Pins, trades, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Give us a thumbs up, yeah. and leave us a comment down below. Yeah, which of these Kit Kats would you like to try for yourself? What flavor Kit Kat would be your dream? I really like to see Ooh. cotton candy Kit Kats. Ew. I know half of the world just went, ew, but I, I would love that. I would like to see a s'mores Kit Kat. Oh yeah, that would be, that would actually they, be There good. may be s'mores Kit Kat already. Yeah, I feel like that I has did, existed. I did see a sign the other day for hazelnut, oh, which basically great. means Nutella because it's already in chocolate, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find them. Yeah. But. It, Leave us a comment down below. What's your dream Kit Kat flavor? What is your dream Kit Kat flavor? And when are we going to get those hazelnut ones? Cotton candy, they'll get there one day. And until then, have a golden afternoon. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later.
you don't care for tea, you could at least make polite conversation.